So, so as far as moms that are intimidated by writing, because face it, most of us <laughs> are not writers, and we really are intimidated by the thought of taking on writing for our students. I mean, matter of fact, it's probably one of the things that a lot of us outsource. That's why you were so popular at co-op, because everybody probably. wanted you to be teaching. <laughs> so help us. help. So what what's in here that's going to help us feel better and, and more at home, at ease, teaching this? Um, yeah, I actually hope that parents, as they help their kids work through the program, actually gain confidence in their own ability as writers as well. Oh. And you'll see that we, we thought about homeschool moms all, all the way. And Zan Tyler is my managing editor at Apologia. You probably oh, know I love Zan. Zan. I nobody, do. I love her. Yeah, well, nobody carries homeschool moms on their hearts more passionately than Zan. And so she's like, Deb, we, she just forced me to make it as clear as possible and as easy for homeschool parents to use. So we have the checklist, we have a daily schedule, we have the rubric, um, and we're always sh giving these parents uh, quick tools. I, we wrote the answer key so you don't have to look in the student text so that the directions are reproduced there. I mean, I just thought about all the things as a homeschool mom that were frustrating, that made the kid have to, you know, multiple interruptions during the day. And I'm like, okay, if I can make these directions clear, or I didn't have time to read that chapter, but here in the answer key, or here's the directions, and here's an example of what a good response would look like so it's easy for me to quickly see is my child's work in the ballpark how many points can I give the child for this um, so and, and I hope a, that I've demystified you did writing and actually to me as I read through it um, I know that the goal is for the student to get to the point where they're doing it independently and that's mm -hmm. and that's evident as you know the, the language you're talking to the child you're not talking to the mom but the, but literally the mom could sit here and read this to their students if the student is not capable of you know really wanting to read everything that's in here and and implement it there's not there's not any guesswork here it's all there wouldn't you agree I hope I hope I broke it down I, I'm sorry Leanne were you gonna say something no 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 go ahead I'm just I mean, that was that was my goal was to just break it down, and I, I think this is why for me this was the best use of my time. This is what I've been doing for 30 years, so I realize where kids get confused. I realize, you know, okay, they don't understand what a thesis statement is, and I have all these years of different lessons and different approaches to helping kids understand. Well, what is a thesis statement? How do I formulate one? Why is it important? and then what do I do once I have it, you know, kind of, of breaking that down. Um, and I hope that as parents read, I hope that they will start to understand, you know, well, what is good writing? What is the goal here? I use the six traits of good writing mm -hmm. as the model. Mm -hmm. And I think even if parents, and then we made a beautiful infographic in the beginning. You sure like did. We had a, fab, had a <laughs> fabulous designer. Even if parents yes. just look at that. Now you know how to evaluate your kid's writing. You know, look at the ideas, look at the sentence structure, look at the word choice. Even that, I think, uh, would help parents to realize, like, oh, okay, so now I have a kind of a framework for deciding, is this any good or not? I know parents mm -hmm. over the years would ask me, can you look at what my exactly. child wrote? Exactly. They had no That's... idea. Is this good or is this bad? You know, exactly. like math, you can kind of tell, like, is it right or is it wrong? Writing mm -hmm. seems like a mystery, like, okay, why is that good and that one's not? Exactly. So. 